I think we probably may well be one of the last bands to get signed in a deal like that, just with the way the music business is just now. So um, we, were, we were quite lucky. We um, we, we appreciate it. Yeah. It's a good, good feeling as well for somebody to put, you know, when you toil away for years on your own and then somebody comes and puts a lot of faith in you and you suddenly feel, yeah, you know, that's... It's, we're actually better than we thought we were. Well, I think when we first uh, got signed, we, we did the math and we're like, oh no, that's about maybe 70 songs we have to write. <laughs> and like, oh no, but then we realised we'd have a few years to do yeah, it. We are sort of frantically writing new songs just now because you, you know you hear about bands getting sort of caught by second album syndrome where it, they suddenly are faced with their second album, they haven't done any work, so we thought we'll nip that in the bud and try and get like a whole bunch of stuff written before before it's time to, to do a second record. Just It's usually myself and Colin sitting across from each other with guitars, basically sort of shouting Scream. melodies at each other. Uh, screaming. <laughs> Sc Try to <laughs> like, get louder than, than the other person. Yeah, it's good because it's, it's good we've, we've never written with anyone else when we sort of grew up together, writing together, so it's a sort of symbiotic sort of thing we have now where we tend to know where the other one's going to go with a melody, so you follow them and... And then once you take it into the band, obviously everyone gets involved and adds their own bits and pieces. And Jamie started writing a couple as well. Yeah, our, our um, guitarist has started writing songs, which takes the pressure off us a wee bit. It does. Because he's, uh, he's uh, not only is he the most handsome member of the band, he's, uh, he's also probably the most talented musician. So he could probably go solo, actually. Sometimes when you're feeling like a poor relation about to release Bring You Down as a single and a record producer John had met David Guest in a flight and they both found that they sort of mutual friends and got really drunk together and went to a party and at the party David was listening to our song and he's like I, I feel a monologue coming on I need to record so uh, John was like that okay so we <laughs> recorded a monologue on it and sent it to us and said what do you think and we kind of like it's pretty bizarre but it actually kind of sounds like William Shatner or something, let's stick it in the single. So we stuck that in the single and uh, it, it seemed to get quite a lot of acclaim. You know, it was, it was bizarre because you never think of David Guest as a sort of a sort of indie music guy, but uh, it just seemed to go down that sort of Lee Hazelwood, William Shatner route and sort of connect with people. So stranger things have happened, but maybe not. I was pretty weird. Actually, stranger sure. things haven't happened. Yeah, <laughs> 